Hello friendos, welcome in. So in today's video, we are going to be doing another You Decide video. It's been many, many, many moons since we last did one of these. Uh, if you aren't familiar with the You Decide series, basically what we do is we are playing on zero sanity, zero evidence, and we go in the house and do all the tests necessary to figure out the ghost, but I'm not going to tell you what the ghost is. You guys get to figure out what the ghost is. This is a great way to test all of your no evidence knowledge, aka like all the ghost hidden abilities knowledge without the fear of having to go in there yourself, right? So I'm gonna go do it for you. <laughs> Hopefully we get a ghost that isn't uh, difficult to figure out. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in there. So per usual, I always like to try and get the breaker on before the first hunt. Nice, and we got lucky it is right here in the garage. Um, I'm going to go into the kitchen, go ahead and use the, oh, Okay, just kidding, we're gonna hide. Oh, it's fast. All right, so we are very clearly dealing with a speedy ghost. I'm not gonna go about doing all the tests for the non-speedy ghosts. So we will do all the tests needed to figure out which the speedy ghost it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and narrow it down. So you guys know what we could potentially be dealing with here as far as speed. These are the ghosts that can be speedy. Go ahead and do this. Um, Yeah, I'll leave that one on. Okay, so these are the potential ghosts that could, we could be dealing with. Obviously, I left some on there that you may be thinking, duh, it can't be that. But I'm going to leave them here just, you know, so you can test your knowledge. And I'm going to go ahead and pop, pop a, a smush timer up on the screen, even though smush timer isn't really super necessary for the ghosts that we're dealing with. But we'll have it there just for being thorough. I can't actually... I want to go into the kitchen and loop this ghost. Okay, so this next hunt, I am going to loop the ghost here so we can see uh, how its speed gets when it sees us, and we'll go from there. So I actually went back out into the van and grabbed another smudge stick because there's another test we can do with the smudge stick blindness duration, which we'll try out. So I do have two smudge sticks. Here it comes. that is that <laughs> hello there friend oh my god she's moving so fast holy cow actually you know what i didn't even start this much timer i apologize there is one other thing i can do as well i can try to find the ghost room and we can check for orbs if you don't if you're thinking maggie you're on zero evidence why are you checking for evidence well because there is one ghost that will still have one piece of evidence even on zero sanity so i think it's like around here ish see i do have a hiding spot right here i think it's just here in the foyer maybe can't tell where this ghost is and it's probably gonna hunt soon yeah So I don't know exactly what room it's in. So I'm just gonna check like this general area for orbs. Let's see. Do not think 
I am seeing any. So based off of the, the one loop and the test of the smudge sticks, you should be able to test, uh, you should be able to tell what kind of ghost it is. Um, and we will I'll go ahead and pick, I'll leave the screen up so you can decide what ghost you think it is. I uh, will load out and I'll explain to you why is that ghost. Ghost was indeed a Maroi. Now the reason this ghost is a Maroi is first off, we were playing at zero sanity. The way the Maroi works is that the lower your sanity, the faster and more aggressive the Maroi is gonna be. So because we're playing at zero sanity, the Maroi is going to start out without any line of sight. Like when it doesn't see you, it's gonna be uh, very fast. The second reason we knew it was a Maroi is because Maroi is one of the ghosts that can speed up with line of sight. So as I was looping it, I know if you noticed that it got faster. It got very, very speedy. Uh, Thays and Hauntus, which were on the list, do not speed up with line of sight. So that's kind of a way you can test if you're trying to figure out which the speedy ghost it is. If it speeds up with line of sight, you can immediately knock off Thay and Hauntu. Now we knew it wasn't a Diogen or Revenant because a Revenant would have been very slow when it didn't see us. Diogen, the opposite. It would have been very fast when it didn't see us and then slow down when it got close to us. Was it a Mimic because we saw orbs? wasn't a Raiju because it was fast without any electronic equipment inside the house. Another test that we did with the Maroi was, so the Maroi has a 12 second blindness on the smudge stick, meaning when you smudge it, it won't be able to detect you or anybody else for 12 seconds. So you notice we just stood in the kitchen, that ghost was running around, it had no idea we were there because we had just smudged it and it, that effect was lasting for 12 seconds. So another way you can test for the Maroi is to smudge it and see how long it ignores you for. Okay, let's go and hop into another map in do it again. All right, so we do have the breaker on. Sounds like the ghost is in the basement. Okay, so again, we have another pretty obvious ghost. I'm not gonna go through the list and like cross off what ghost it could be and what ghost it can't be because it was pretty obvious what this ghost is. Um, we will stay for one more hunt just to make sure, it's, make sure it still is this ghost. I will just say that it is a ghost that is very easy to identify by its speed. All right, so the ghost is hunting again. Now it looks like the ghost is still the same ghost. So we aren't gonna do any other tests. It should be pretty obvious. If not, that's also okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead and pop up the journal really quick in case you wanna look over what ghost it could possibly be. All right, let's load out and see if you are right. So the ghost was indeed a revenant. Like we talked about in the last video, revenants are very slow when they don't see you. And then when they do see you, they immediately get extremely fast. And then they kind of gradually slow down. Oops, sorry. My doggos just want to say hi. So I apologize for the woofing in the background. Um, but yeah, so after revenants break line of sight with you, or if you smudge them, they gradually slow down until they're as slow as they can be again. So a very easy, easy ghost to guess. Congratulations if you got it right. If you didn't, that's also okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do another gang. Let's see if we can get a little bit more difficult ghosts. We've definitely gotten some fun ghosts today. I will say that I've really enjoyed them. We're gonna spice it up a little bit and go to prison. I don't know if I've ever done a you decide video on prison. I think that'd be fun. Let's try it out. A lot of you tell me that you don't like prison because it's just a big confusing map and it takes a long time to find the ghost, but I can promise you on zero sanity, even if you don't play with evidence, but if you play on zero sanity, it's a lot easier to find the ghost because they hunt. So you can see where they come from, which is why I particularly enjoy playing on zero sanity, zero evidence on the bigger maps. I'm not wasting all that time trying to find a ghost. It just, you know what? It honestly, it finds me. 
It looks like the breaker. Oh, okay. Well, the ghost is right here. Love that. Well, forget everything I said about having a hard time finding the ghost. This ghost is literally in the first room of this building. Okay, so we do have the breaker on now. I am now going to start setting up some tests in the ghost room. I'm gonna try to get back inside as quick as possible to see if this ghost hunts in under 90 seconds. Okay. Sorry, I'm not providing much commentary. I want you guys to be able to hear the ghost. And obviously we couldn't really see the ghost there, but it was a ghost and it's still hunting. Okay, hunt is over. I'm gonna try to resume setting up equipment. Oh. Did you turn off the breaker? That is exceptionally rude. I'm trying to put one crucifix like here, maybe. It's okay. Never mind. I was gonna say something like it just turned on the light, but it actually turned off the light to do a ghost event. It just did a airball ghost event right there. I'm gonna try to go turn the breaker back on so that we can see. Um, it doesn't look like it's used a crucifix yet. All right, breaker is back on. Alright, still has not used a crucifix. I'm gonna open this back up so I can better hear when it hunts again. Oh, another air ball coming in from Narnia. Okay, so it did just use this crucifix right here. Oh, it used that crucifix as well. So it used the crucifix right here underneath a lit candle. Has not stepped in any salt yet. I might need to put some more salt down though. <gasps> All right, so it did just step in this salt pile right here. And a couple of salt piles actually. So next time I'm gonna try to loop it so we can actually get a much better visual on it. All right, it fully used that crucifix in the back there. So it should hopefully hunt us soon. All right, it is hunting again. Hunt is over. Um, there's a couple other tests that I can do for you guys. Go grab some more equipment. You guys may be wondering why I put dots down when there's no evidence <laughs> on this difficulty. Well, I'm not gonna tell you why. I'm gonna let you try to figure out why I may have put dots down. Also, I think that's much timer is like way over. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't stop it earlier. All right, so there's one remaining test I can do with this last smush stick that I have. Uh, we'll go ahead and try to do that right over here. Hopefully I can make it to the lockers without dying. I turn off the breaker again. I hate it here. So 
So the ghost has actually given away what it is already. Uh, some of you may have already noticed, um, but if you haven't, I'll try to make it a little bit more obvious for you. Um, let's put these here. Um, let's see what else can I put. I can put this here. Let's turn the breaker off again. I'm really honestly not going to go turn it back on. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to uh, wait one more hunt. I'm going to let you guys listen to it one more time. And we'll go from there. All right, now I'm gonna go and turn all this equipment off. We will let the ghost hunt one more time. I am gonna leave my flashlight on in the locker just in case it happens to walk by us. Okay, well that is all the tests that we need to do to figure out this ghost. Hopefully you're able to figure it out. Hopefully I did the proper tests and it was obvious to you. If not, you will soon see what ghost it is and why. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open the journal in case you wanna peep at all the ghosts that it could potentially be and then we will load out. All right, let's see if you're right. So that ghost was indeed a Raiju. Uh, the reason it was a Raiju, and we knew that was a Raiju, is because that it sped up around electro equipment. So that's why I put the dots down. Raijus will become faster during hunts if they are around equipment that is turned on. So like dots that are actually placed and glowing on the floor will cause a Raiju to speed up. If your flashlight is on the ground and turned on, it will speed up. Even if the flashlight is in your hand, it will speed up. I don't know if you noticed during that first hunt when I was looping it, it got a little bit faster when it got close to me. Um, it was just a subtle change, but you may have noticed it was a Raiju from that very first hunt. Another interesting thing about Raijus is that they also don't speed up with line of sight, but if there is electrical equipment turn on near them. So if they come up to you, you have your flashlight on, they're gonna get faster because of the equipment, but they're not gonna also get line of sight speed. Still very difficult to loop a Raiju with equipment on because it's going to be fast, but it, if you notice the ghost is fast but not speeding up and your flashlight's on, it could potentially be a Raiju. So yeah, hopefully you got that right. Hopefully I made it obvious enough. I tried to make it obvious enough without blatantly telling you, hey, this is a Raiju. Um, but if you got it right, congratulations. If you didn't, well, now you know. Well, that's all of the You Decide games I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, definitely drop a like. If you love it, drop me a sub. Otherwise, good luck ghost hunting, and I will see you in the next one.